We're in Windows Admin Center, and I'd like to add this virtual machine that I've added into Azure. So I've got this virtual machine here, and I want to add it into my Windows Admin Center. And the virtual machine is located at Azure. Now, the problem is that there is a bug in this Windows Admin Center program that doesn't allow you to do it. So I'll show you what's wrong, and I'll show you quickly how to fix it. Here are all the servers I've added, and these are all local to my LAN, so there's nothing here that's at Azure. So what I want to do is I want to click on the Settings button up here, and I want to get into Azure. So I've got to go to where it says Azure here and click on Register. And I've got to copy this code. So I'll click on Copy, and then I'll click on step number two, Enter the Code. Now, you might have seen this in other videos, but we are going to veer off from this in just a minute after we discover where the bug is. Okay, we've got to log in. And now we'll close the button. Okay, so now we're officially logged in. We'll go to step three, which is connected to Azure Active Directory. Click on Connect. It says we're now connected. Now we've got to grant permission, step four. Click step four. And this part goes fairly quickly. All we'll have to do is click the button that says Grant Admin Consent. Yes. Then we'll see these green check marks. And we'll go to step five, sign into Windows Admin Center with your Azure account. And it says, hey, you are now registered. Fantastic. All right, so that's the first part. Now what we've got to do is we've got to go into the virtual machine itself. So the virtual machine, we need to run WinRM Quick Config. And if it says that it's not already running, you'll press Y, and then uh, it'll be running at that point. If it is running properly, you'll see this message. All right, so once that's done, that's a fairly quick thing to do. We need to go into Azure, and we need to make a change into networking. So inside Azure, I'll click on Home. And I'll click on Virtual Machines. And I'm going to click on my Test Virtual Machine. Now that I'm in that, I'm going to look for, under Settings, look for Networking. It may be at the top of the list. It may be somewhere in the middle. But once you find that, click on Networking. In Networking, we see that Remote Desktop is already allowed. If it's not, we can add it here as well. But we need to add a couple of more ports. So I'll click on Add Inbound Rule. And we've got our source. We want to choose IP address. So you need to make sure that you paste in the IP address from where you're coming. So you can always easily find out what your IP address is just by typing in what's my IP in a Google search, for instance, and just copy whatever that IP is. Next, we're going to go back to the networking, and I'm going to paste that in. Now, if you have a range of IP addresses, you can do that as well. So now what we're going to do is leave all the rest of this the same with the exception of the port numbers. We're going to leave the source port range the way it is, the destination the way it is. But under destination port ranges, we're going to be putting in 5985 to 5986. So it just basically takes two ports. And they're going to be TCP, but you can leave the protocols any if you'd like. Now, the reason we want to lock down to your IP address is because these ports are dangerous to leave open. Uh, they are ports that will allow a hacker to get access uh, somewhere into your computer that you don't want them to get access to. Now, under the port name, these are the WinRM ports. So I'm just going to call these WinRM. And then I'm going to click Add. And when I do that, we can see it's creating the rule. And it only takes usually about 30 seconds, and then it's done. The rule has been created. So I can close that. And we can see WinRM and then these ports. Next thing we want to do is go back into our Windows Admin Center. And we're all done with the settings. So we can go ahead and click on Windows Admin Center here and click Add. So if we go to click on Azure VM, this is where it breaks down. We click on Add. And we click Sign In. And look at that. It just disappears. It doesn't go anywhere. I'll do it again. Click Add, Azure VM, and click Sign In. It just disappears. So the folks at Microsoft said that this is a bug. They haven't figured out a way to fix it yet. This does work if you are using an Azure VM inside Azure, 
with Windows Admin Center on it, and you're connecting to another Azure VM. But if you're outside of Azure, as I am here, I'm on, I'm on a completely separate server from Azure, then this button just doesn't work. So what you need to do is click on Add and choose Windows Server instead. And I've entered my IP address. And as soon as I put in the IP address into the server name, it asked me for my credentials. So I need to put in use another account for this connection. You've got to put in the name of the server. Now, the name of the server when I created this was WAC-test for Windows Admin Center. And then admin-1 was my username. And then I had my password. So you can't use the just the username itself. You've got to put in the name of the computer or server that you're connecting to backslash administrator name. I'll click Add with Credentials. And here is my WAC-test server. It shows the IP address first, followed by the name of the server. And now I have full managerial access to this through my Windows Admin Center. And we see all the different options that we can click on. So that's how you add an Azure Virtual Machine in Windows Admin Center rather than using the Azure button.